Hi, I'm Cam Bernard. I'm a product manager here that works on Geocortex software. Today, I want to talk to you about Geocortex web and specifically some of the features that are in that interface for refining your results. These are the types of features that before you discover them, you'd be like, oh, I wish there was a way to do this. Actually, there is, and we are happy to show it to you. Let's get started. Let's explore some of the different ways that you can refine results within Geocortex web. We'll start things off by doing a search. We're gonna search for Los Angeles and we happen to be in the Los Angeles area. So as one might expect, I'm going to get a whole bunch of results, potentially incomprehensible. First way you should refine your results is by extending the words in your search. It may seem obvious, but it's easy to forget. So Los Angeles Police Department is going to be a more refined search than just Los Angeles. And now you can start to see that Los Angeles Police Department is actually the top ranked or top weighted search result across all this data, making it much, much easier to find. So using more words is helpful. Sometimes even with more words or less words, you don't get what you're looking for. It's important to know that in Geocortex web, the map extent limits your search. What this means is if I was looking for something outside of this extent, I may not find it. So I may need to zoom the map out and perform that search again, or I may need to zoom into a particular neighborhood so that I'm restricting the search to an area that I'm particularly interested in. So those are some high level ways to refine your search, but let's go ahead and clear that. Let's go back to our initial map extent and we are going to research for Los Angeles. So we're going to get a whole bunch of results back across multiple map layers. One of the first things I want to show you if you haven't discovered it before is this is a flat list of ranked results. You can also toggle this to get a grouped view. So now I can see that I got 34 results from public schools, 13 hospitals, 67 crimes, etc. Now, when it comes to pairing away results I'm not interested in to get at the things that I really want to see, I can interact with these on a layer by layer basis. So I'm not interested in crimes, no problem. I can remove those crimes and from my results and as I do you can see my total number of results is going to begin to go down. I'm also not interested in land use or zip codes or world geocoder results. So now I'm working with 50 results. It's already a lot more manageable. Now where it starts to get really interesting and I'm going to switch back to a flat list of ranked is open this little refinement panel. Now within the refinement panel you can see your results by source. What that means is I can bring up just all my public school results and see a list of those there and they're going to work the same way you would expect them to within any other view or down to, for example, school district or hospitals and I can begin to see these results. Now if I want to winnow out individual results that I'm not interested in, I can select a few of these and I can say I either want to just remove these from this list. So let's go ahead and do that. There's three less results. Or I can say, actually, I'm really only interested in these five. So I'm just going to keep those and get rid of the rest. We also have these handy select all, select none. So if I'm done with those, I don't want them selected anymore. No problem. Just collect, select that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and select two of these again, because one of the other things I want to show you is that these selections persist. So if I go to school districts and select this school district and then I go to all sources, you can see that that school district and those hospitals are still selected. So you can drill in, do some selections, drill back out again, and those selections will still persist. Back down to public schools for a moment. So often the case is if you're just wanting to get rid of a couple, uh, maybe I actually want to select them all um, and then, you know, I want to remove these three. Well, now I can go ahead and do that. So depending on whether your mental model is I want to keep everything except these things or your mental model is I just want to select these things for removal, we've got you covered in this refinement panel. That is some of the built-in capabilities that exist today in Geocortex Web for refining your results.